The Dow gets pounded, down 230 points. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Thursday, March 13th, 2014. And today, the S&P 500 takes this biggest fall since February 3rd. A huge drop in the markets. The S&P down 1.17%, Dow down 1.4%, NASDAQ down the same, Russell's down 1.23%, Banks off only it. 0.5% showing relative strength in this huge sell-off. VIX up a whopping 12% gain. Some of you don't yet know what the VIX is. This is the volatility index. This is the fear indicator. It goes up when the markets go down, and it really shows a measurement of fear out there. We're over 16 now. Gold higher, but silver lower. And we have crude oil at break even with the U.S. dollar ticking higher by a bit. What's interesting here is utilities, which is a defensive sector, is up 0.7%. Here it is. Take a look at the Dow. The Dow, we were in this big, ginormous, symmetrical triangle. Big, big triangle. We broke out of it here. Zooming back in. Remember, you can always go to full screen on your computer to watch these videos in full definition to really see the details here. We came up, 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 up. We broke through this resistance line. We went higher, 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 higher. Last few sessions under a lot of pressure. And today the Dow's down 231 points. Now closing below the 20 and the 50-day moving averages. The S&P that we've been watching, you can see that yesterday we closed right there at that line. Today we tried to go higher, tried to save itself, to get back between the two blue trend lines. It failed to do that. It started to show weakness intraday. And in that weakness, you had a lot of bears coming in and starting selling on that weakness. You had a lot of bulls coming in and selling to minimize exposure to the markets and you had both camps selling dropping it down below the 20-day moving average finding support right here around the 25 percent fibonacci retracement that i have drawn in could should act as a natural area of support however after a big sell-off like that usually you'll get a break going into the next period before more follow through to the downside if you look at a weekly chart on the s p you can see we're just heading lower. We have a lower high, higher low. It's an inside trading candlestick for the week so far. It'd be really interesting to see how we close out the week going into tomorrow. Be very, very interesting to see what happens there. On the NASDAQ, we had this tight rising wedge. It finally broke down, and it has just been crashing ever since. I really thought yesterday with the gap down run up, bouncing up to 20 day, that we should be looking for upside potential. No way the market said. We got a gap up and a sell-off, 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 sell-off. So we, even though we had a higher high, big, lower low, it, with a close below the 20-day moving average. And then gold just hanging out up here. Silver, it busted through, still at support. Silver is a buy. And if you look here at Apple, we started to break out. This was a moment for Apple to make a major run yesterday and or today. And today we started to, we started to, we started to, and then the markets got crazy bad. We started to drop. So now that promise of a massive breakout for Apple has been squelched. We're back inside the apex of the symmetrical triangle closing now below all these coiling moving averages. That is bad, bad, bad for Apple. If we do violate this lower trend line, woe be to Apple stock. Wow, has things changed? Amazon, uh, this was a buy, big gap up, huge run, but intraday, the 200 point plus day just drove it right back down. Facebook was off almost three points. Rising wedge breakdown, there it is. And he said, stay away from it. And boy, if you were short there, you're making some money and probably a lot more to come. Google dropping. LinkedIn down to 2.6%. Still in a bull flag territory. 
I'd still be watching this one for a long. Microsoft just chopping around above the 20-day moving average. Netflix off but with a bull pullback. And you have Twitter doing a whole lot of nothing. I mean, I should almost take that off. It's just a flat line, nothing mess. Anyway, what we have coming up is this. Tonight, we're doing a free program. Just get signed up. First 500 that gets signed up gets a spot. Anyway, all you do is you come to the website here and click on tonight's program. Starts at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific. Hope you can make it. We always also have another one Friday. That's tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, not too bad. I think that's 10 a.m. Pacific. And if you can join us tomorrow also, we're doing it again. Then Saturday morning, we're doing it for all those who uh, like to take their programs on Saturday. And there's the three that we're doing. Hope you can um, get going on that. You can also sign up for the one-on-one courses right here. They're free. They'll be emailed to you. That's it. Markets in significant trouble. Let's see what happens over there in China and see how that carries um, over into the markets coming into tomorrow. It'd be interesting. Take care, guys.